Thank you. Thanks very much. Um, I'd just like to say before I get started that there was a couple of speakers that were going to speak here today. Two young women who were sexual abuse survivors. Now, unfortunately, the women were stopped from speaking here today. But I'd like to say that the bravery they demonstrated, even willing to show up here today and talk about their experiences, has inspired me to no end and ensured I would never back out. Never! Now, I'm an independent speaker here today. I'm speaking for myself. I'm a proud traveler, man, and I'm glad to see there's many travelers in the crowd supporting this. I'm a proud Kulak man, and I'm glad to see there's many Kulak lads and girls in the crowd supporting this. And I'm a proud Irish man, and I'm glad to see all my Irish people in the crowd supporting this. You know what? I have to say I am absolutely delighted that the fascist group known as Antifa showed up here today. I'm delighted because they have delegitimized every cause they ever fought for. Let's not forget one of the founders of Antifa Ireland is a pedophile himself, Patrick Corcoran. What's his name? Patrick Corcoran. Found with child pornography. This is what you're fighting for. You're leftists, this is what you're fighting for, liberals. You're liberal? Are you serious? Oh my God, you make me fucking laugh. You're hilarious. Trying to stop me, you have no idea. In the last 10 days, the amount of people have gotten on to me, the amount of accusations, labels, defamation, assassination of my character, my career is over, apparently I'm cancelled again. I was cancelled a few years ago for defending the unborn, you know, the most innocent life on planet Earth. And I came back from that. And that's because I am independent and I depend on nobody else for my own living. You make me laugh. All these accusations, it's gas because these are the people who preach acceptance and tolerance and equality and peace and love. And these are the people who are calling me knacker and pikey on Twitter. Telling me, telling me, John, if you just back down, we'll back off. If I back down, I will never back down because this is a hill I will have to die on. If you cannot defend children, you're not worth living in my opinion. What is wrong with you people? Now, let me talk about Peter Tatchell. Peter Tatchell talked about the normalization and joyous, beneficial relationship a nine-year-old can have with a sexual relationship with an adult. Okay? Peter Tatchell has been advocating the lower the age of consent for decades. Down to 14 years of age. That's Peter Tatchell. Peter Tatchell has been associated to pedophiles and even wrote an obituary for one of them mourning their debt. That's Peter Tatchell. So, when you dare to question the new Minister for Children about his relationship, in which he's very proud of, all of a sudden, we're fascists. We're far right. We're racists. We're homophobes. I don't give a shit what the man's sexuality is. If he was straight, I'd be saying the same thing. If anything, you're homophobic for not questioning it. So, we're in a situation now where if you defend all your children, you're a fascist. It's controversial. That's where we're at right now. Now, I said to, the, I said to Roderick Gorman, take back your statement, disavow your connection, and uh, we'll accept that, okay? But what happened? Five or six days of pressure from the Irish people, from all of you, finally made him disavow his connection and what did he say he probably wouldn't have taken the picture probably well i know i'd never take a picture with a fucking pedophile apologist but not only that not only that then other tweets started with surfacing other some very questionable tweets and we know that he's had a past relationship so then you say what's his agenda so his agenda is the first thing that he tackles when, when he becomes Minister for Children, the most important thing he says is for underage children to have access to undergo sexual trans transitional therapy operations. That's the first thing. Not 
not enjoy poverty in Ireland, not send enjoy homelessness in Ireland. He didn't say, I'm going to make sure that children are not going to be living in hostels, they're not going to be living in hotels, in parks or tents. No, they have easier access to an operational, an operation that is very serious and irreversible. And that's why Roderick Garman is not fit to be Minister for Children. Now take down your present smoker. Now, 